Hello, Froggy here. Now that stage one of the lie is done, we can head over to Vostok. Sadly, the final step of the quest is bugged. Kind of like this animation here. But that can't keep us from having some fun. Luckily for us, there's a few bugs in Vostok as well. As it turns out, they, uh seem to have removed some of the push barriers. So normally, the bridge behind us is impassable in the PvP version of this map. However, now we can just jump over here and right around the end of the bridge the turn back stops. And from here we're free to climb Fellwinter Peak. The uh, door to the temple is closed, but as you'll see in a moment, that doesn't actually uh, matter much here. As you climb around the mountain, you'll sometimes run into little holes. Some of them are large enough to fit through. Also, the entire place is very sparkly. It seems that Felwinter's lie was the mountain itself. It was actually assembled in an Ikea covered in glitter. If we go over to the left side of the hill, there's one of the openings that's big enough to go through. And man, does the floor sparkle. But yeah, not much to the inside of uh, the temple here. There's also a death floor, though if you venture further out, you can bypass that to fall into the abyss. One thing I didn't mention, sparrows. You can use them. So you can sparrow fly to your heart's content. Of course, there's only one fitting way to reach the summit. We have quite the view up here. And oh, what is that? Yeah, yeah you get a nice view of the map. And the little ski lift thing, which we'll go to in a bit. I have no idea what that is. And there's some neat ships and stuff, and must be very far away if those look that small. At least canonically. Whee! my way over there, I got a bit distracted. Mountains are meant to be climbed. Even if this is a bit cheaty with the sparrow, but I've learned to sparrow fly and I'm going to use it when I can. Oh, there goes my sparrow. That there goes my sparrow again. The view is pretty nice. Not quite as good as up there, but... Huh. 
Nope. You have to turn back here as well. But once again, you can just push right through it. Though you do need to look out for the uh, death floor here. Because we are not quite past it. If you try to jump down onto that thing, you would die. At this point, we're past it, so you can just drop down and run all over these hills. Ski lift door is open, too. You can check out the gondola. And the everything okay lights going. Some AAA trees going on right here. They're pretty amazing. I wouldn't mind having one of these in my yard. in the uh, terminal station here. Though still perhaps more detail than he might expect. <laughs> that, that, oh! Well that tree is different. Gonna have to check that one out. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the map terrain. About as close as land that we can get to that weird thing. Fog uh, obscures it a bit more than from the top of the peak. Back to that weird tree. Nope. Guess we're not going there. So looking a bit more, it seems that all of the background trees have that weird glossy look to them. Which is fine at a distance, but up close it's a bit odd looking. Yeah, nothing left to do here except see how close we can get to that weird object. From here on, it's just a sparrow flying, so feel free to hop out and do it yourself. So it's useful to keep in mind that this is a per-character quest. So even if you've already completed it, you can leave it uncompleted on a character to be able to explore this area whenever you want this season. 
But it will probably go away at the end. The inside of those is pretty detailed. End of the line. Well, I'd recommend checking this out while we uh, await the next step. And until then, happy exploring! <laughs>